My name is Cynthia Brown and this is my husband Ryan. And our foster parent journey actually starts with infertility. So for about two years we tried on our own and then decided we should go to a fertility doctor. In March, two big things happened. The first was that we found out the only way we could get pregnant medically was through IVF. I had a hard time talking about this after a while because I was so emotional and I just really wanted a baby. And the other big thing that happened was we went to the first training for the outreach program. So it was after, about a week after the outreach training that I was running around and talking with God and trying to figure out what He wanted for our lives because Cynthia and I wanted to start a family. And so in praying to God and trying to figure out what He wants for our life, I started getting this conviction about the children that are already in this world and all the lost souls out there who aren't reconciled to Him yet. And I started hurting for those children and I started realizing if no one goes out and shares with them, then they're going to remain lost. And even though it's just a small part, maybe if we could consider fostering kids, something that I had never considered before, and if we can consider fostering kids and bringing them into our home, then maybe that's what God wants us to be doing at this stage of our life. And so I was afraid to bring it up with Cynthia because I know she wanted to have her own child, and I wanted that for her as well. But at the time, it just seemed so, um, so natural that this is really what God wants for us that I just knew we had to go forward with it. And so I talked to Cynthia finally and asked her if we could consider just going to an introductory foster class and find out what it's all about. I wasn't really on board or sure about the foster thing, but I knew that God calls my husband to be the spiritual leader of the family, so I went ahead with him to the class. And I just remember that night thinking, this is what God wants for me. And I had a peace, and I know that being a foster parent is hard, but it's also what God called me to do, so I need to do it. And I'm also on the prayer team for the outreach program. So I usually go out about once a month, but the rest of the time I stay back and pray for those going out. So as we were doing our training all summer to be licensed to foster, and as I was praying, God kept putting the verse on my heart over and over again, James 1.27, which is, pure religion is this, to care for the orphans and the widows. And I can't imagine a better way to care for them than to have them in our house. So we know we're not going to be perfect and there's going to be a lot of hardships. This is not going to be easy by any means. But we also have the assurance that God is with us at all times and that this is His will for our lives. So as long as we're following Him, we know that we can't be doing anything too terrible. And we know these foster kids are coming from families who aren't showing great love or broken or hurting in a lot of different ways. So if we can show them a Heavenly Father who's perfect, and we can show them um, Jesus Christ who loves us and died for us, and we can show them a family that follows such a Savior, then we'll be giving them a hope and assurance that even though we live in this broken world, that we do, um, do have a peace and comfort of being able to, to rely on something greater than ourselves. And if we can do that, if we can just show them what um, it means to follow Jesus, then we'll be bringing them closer to God's kingdom. And that's what God wants us to do in our lives. And I know this is the, the right journey that God wants us on.